Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about how to remove and replace the visor on a Shark Spartan GT and a Spartan GT Carbon. And this will also work on a Spartan RS. Right, let's get down to it. Pretty simple system on the Shark Spartan Carbon, Carbon GT and Spartan RS. So raise the visor. And then we also we then want to lower it slightly just to make this ever so slightly easier. So we'll lower it until this edge on the bottom of the visor just covers that bolt there, thereabouts. Doesn't need to be done particularly precisely. As long as it's in that kind of zone, we can then ping this tab away from that surface there and it will rotate round and lift clear. So we do the same on the other side. It's already in that position, leading edge or bottom edge over that bolt ping the tab, that rotates, and then the visor can just be pulled clear on each side. So just give it a good pull there. Same on this side, and then it's clear. Putting it back on is just the reverse. So get these around the post that's in the middle of this tab here, and just push that home. Again, get it into the right area so that that edge is over that bolt. Push this in, rotate it, and it grips against there. So spin it around the same again, feed these around the post on here, push this in, rotate, and that grips it in place. So that's the visor change, just give it a couple of lifts and lowers. That's all fine. Now, if you find, you can, you can sort of hear a clicking noise as this goes up and down. And what's happening is there's slight detents on this grid here. So if you find that this is really sloppy and weak, what you can do is get a two millimeter Allen key. They're not all that common, so you might need to fish around for one, but two millimeter Allen key and just tighten this bolt in here. You've got one on each side and that will give you more grip. It will just mean that this is more liable to stay in an intermediate position. And again, if it's really tight and it's annoying you in that sense, just slacken it off slightly. It changes that tension and just makes that a bit easier. Right, let's move on to the sun visor. It's a little bit fiddly on this, but it's not too bad once you know how to do it. So the first steps are to just lower it, get in, lower it, and pull the two sides. So just pull there, pull it from its housing here. Now, this is the bit that's a bit fiddlier, so I'm gonna get something soft. I'm just gonna put the helmet on this surface because what you've got on these helmets is a band that functions as you move this switch. It just runs through the top of the helmet here it's connected by a hook onto the top of the visor. So that's the only thing that really makes this function. So what you need to do is just pull that visor down and it will reveal in this surface here where you can see how that band and the hook on the visor are connected. Now this is a plastic pick from that you use for O-rings on bikes. You can also use a screwdriver. That's what Shark suggests in their manual for doing this. But just be really careful if you have got a screwdriver that you don't scratch your visor. Just try and get in there between the two and then gently push on the tab and it should separate it like this. Now the visor is clear to come out and I can show you what I mean then. There's this hook on the top here and then there's a tab inside the visor there on that band and the tab just slots into there. So that's what I'm doing with the pick. I'm just trying to get the two to connect. So this hook here, we're just gonna feed the visor back in. We're gonna try and keep that tab on, on the end of that band at the front, as far forward as we can get by making sure this switch is fully forward. I can see that in here. Just offer this up until the two meet. Okay, they're now matched. That's now in place. Once that's in, just push these two side lugs back into their runners, which you can see down in the gap there till they click into place. Click that in place. Just operate the visor a couple of times just to make sure everything's functioning as it should. That's all connected properly. Same on the main visor. So that's how you do both of those jobs. That is a bit fiddly. I would say if you really need to do the shark sun visor, then it's that's how to do it. But if you can avoid it, then I absolutely would. Certainly wouldn't take it out to clean it because you'll end up with fingerprints all over the visor anyway, and you'll need to clean it in situ anyway. Mm -hmm. So I would only do that if you really need to. But if you do, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.